Hi, this is Abdullah and I've always wanted a Nokia N82 back in 2007 because it was such a multimedia beast. So what made this phone so special back in the day? Let's have a look at its quirks and features and the issues relevant for its time. And just a quick reminder to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more cool nostalgic trips like this one. Thank you. So let's start with the quirks and the first thing I really liked about this is the cool design language on a candy bar form factor. So the N82 was completely made out of plastic with a thick plastic frame that goes all the way around and a glossy back finish with a really cool pattern. And look at that N-series logo. And the camera bump had this brushed metallic look to it which looked really nice. And you'll notice that the front of the device actually curves in at the very edges to meet the frame. And you could get the N82 in two colors, this striking silver color and a black version as well. And both were really nice looking. And this is how the N82 looked compared to the flagship at that time, the N95 8 gigabytes. And how it compares against the behemoths of today, featuring the X20. On the front, the N82 featured a 2.4 inch display with a 240x320 resolution. And it was a pretty thick boy at 17.3 millimeters. It even featured a lanyard hole. And the backplate was removable, concealing a 1050 milliamp battery, which was considered quite a generous battery capacity. And since this is an N-series device, it was heavy on multimedia, which meant that it also featured dual speakers both of them actually on the right hand side. As for the processor, the N82 had a 332 megahertz dual core processor, and it even featured a GPU which helped it run N-Gage games. It had 128 megabytes of RAM and about 100 megabytes of internal storage, which luckily could be expanded thanks to an SD card slot, which was located on the left hand side of the device and it was hidden under a flap. But the biggest reason I wanted one back then was the camera. And boy was it a beast. So the phone had a 5 megapixel Carl Zeiss optics camera and the party stopper was the Xenon flash. Which obviously helped the N82 freeze subjects in motion, something that your LED flashlights just can't do these days. It was even capable of capturing 480p video at 30 frames per second which was class leading back then. And just have a look at some of the camera samples captured with the N82 and tell me they don't look quite impressive. Remember, this was a phone that was out in 2007. And check this out, in order to access the camera, you needed to open the slider. And then once you're done capturing pictures, you just close the slider. And in order to capture pictures, you needed to rely on the two-stage camera shutter key. Half press for autofocus, full press to capture the images. And Nokia even added a gallery button right next to the camera shutter key so you can access the most recently captured picture quickly. And you know what else is really cool? The fact that these buttons were actually backlit. I was honestly very impressed what this phone is actually capable of doing, which isn't surprising considering this was the best camera phone from 2007 according to GSM Arena. Now all of this magical hardware would mean nothing without the Symbian operating system that the NA2 is running on. And Symbian S60 was the perfect companion to this hardware. It offered powerful multitasking, a very powerful music player, a very powerful camera interface, a very powerful video player, engage 3D gaming, it was quite power efficient and it was super customizable too. Symbian was simply a productivity and multimedia powerhouse and on the N82 it was during its peak years. So you could change profiles, you could change themes, you could rearrange icons on the home screen and you just had so many options to fully customize the Symbian experience to your liking. So what were the weaknesses of the N82 back then? For a start, the T9 keyboard's buttons were considered a bit uncomfortable to type on because of their design and shape. And the screen, as you can tell from this video, isn't very bright, sadly. But these were the only two flaws of this device, which tells you all you need to know about how good this phone was back then. And this also shows you how early Nokia's smartphone camera dominance was, and what a fantastic all-rounder the N82 was. An iconic N-series, 8-series Nokia device. 
Anyways, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying my content. And that's it for me and I shall see you in the next one.